1984 held the birth of student recognition within technical schools. John H. Poteet and C. Adam Powell founded the National Technical Honor Society, also known as NTHS. National Technical Honor Society has been in operation for over three decades. About 30 years ago or so, they decided uh, there's a group of folks that came from a national or from a uh, career technical school that thought they should really think of some type of organization that would really benefit their students, but get them out nationally. You know, it's not just uh, any typical kid. These are really great kids that do really well in the classroom, that do well at their home school, and they kind of wanted to honor these kids. And it kind of transformed into an opportunity when they off, when they gelled out into different schools and in different states. Right now, I believe it's over 140 schools that are involved in the National Technical Honor Society. They developed scholarship money. Um, there's over a million dollars worth of scholarship money that's available. Um, there's uh, reference uh, organizations that help you to write resumes. They'll um, give you resumes, uh, templates. They'll give you references. You know, if we recommend somebody for a reference, our, the National Technical Honor Society will get involved. So it was kind of like an avenue to show off the national, the career and technical schools and really push them into the limelight and show that we have really great kids that can perform. Educators have seen the National Technical Honor Society lifting up students, advancing excellence in careers and technical education, and raising the bar for student achievement. Joining the National Technical Honor Society is a great step towards a steady future. Membership is respected by businesses, industry, and education. Students that meet the qualifications, which would be a straight-A student here, that's all that we would know, the teachers would know on our end. And they're not a disciplinary problem, and they attend the VOTEC regularly. Um, send, send them up to the meeting date whenever we're going to meet, with whatever time. When they come up, we'll give additional qualifications. So other than, in addition to, I should say, an A at VOTEC, you also need to have a 3.0 or better at your home school. You need to have less than three days absent, unexcused absence, and we don't allow any discipline referrals. So if you meet those qualifications, you're good. In addition to that, we ask for two references, one from your VOTEC teacher and one from a counselor, um, support staff, or your teacher, principal, or vice principal at your home school. Represent our school as a whole. They are the best students that we have at the VOTEC. Not only are they successful academically back at their setting school, but they are the best in their trade area here at the vocational school. So when they are here and they're representing the National Technical Honor Society, they are the best of the best. They need to come across as being respectful, responsible, um, always willing to go the extra mile um, in order to do something for others. And uh, that's what we look for as far as who will represent us. Um. Bethlehem Area Vocational Technical Chapter is currently managing a food drive for the Salvation Army. Our whole goal for the year is to collect as much money as we can through different types of uh, fundraising activities and donate as much of that money as we possibly can. With maybe having, we donate every activity that we have that we raise money for, we donate at least 50% of it to some type of organization. Uh, we just had a pasta fundraising activity. We raised $850 and we are donating $500 to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So our goal is to raise as much money as we can and throw it back into the community. As being a part of the National Technical Honor Society, it has a lot of benefits to their members. Um, not only does it help you be part of the school as a whole, but um, you are able to do things like qualify for scholarships when you become a senior. Um, it helps build your resume, so all the charity work that we're doing, all the fundraising, things like that. Um, these are all things you're going to take out of becoming a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Um, National, National Technical Honor Society is strictly run by their students. So our kids think of the charities they want to donate to, the activities they want to um, get involved with to raise money, and other events like dances or um, different types of things that we can do within the school, they have to head, lead, and promote every, every aspect of it. So if we're, uh, we were doing the pasta fundraising, the kids need to perform, um, come up with the flyers, uh, put them together, go to commercial art, go back to graphic communications, print them. Uh, they do for everything from start to finish. Uh, they do for 